Hey guys, my name is Leslie DePiro from Leslie's in the House. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here you can find all sorts of topics that have to do with home decorating and home renovations. Today, during my special series, I'll be updating you on my family's own renovation. But before I do, please make sure to give a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can continue to watch my special series. Okay, let's recap. My contractor and his crew have excavated where we'll be expanding our first floor. Now, depending on whether you're adding a basement, crawl space, or concrete slab, that will determine just how deep they will have to excavate. Just a little side note, your contractor must dig at least 36 inches below grade. Why? Because that's where the frost line, if you're building in Northern New Jersey, begins. Now, next the Mason and his crew build concrete forms for the footings to be poured. I'm going to get a little technical here for all you detailed people out there like myself. So what are concrete forms? In simple terms, concrete forms are nothing more than a solid barrier that holds the concrete in place. Now, before the mason pours the concrete into the forms, your contractor will schedule an inspection with your town's building official, just to make sure that the concrete forms are to code. Once approved, the mason can go ahead and pour the concrete. Now, once the concrete is cured, these are now called footings. Footings' main purpose is to distribute the house's weight to prevent settling and or movement. I know this is a lot of technical details that I just downloaded on you. However, I really do feel it's important to educate yourself with anything that you're investing money into. So guys, that's all for now. I'd love to hear from you. Have you found this information useful? Are you planning a home renovation? Please make sure to comment in the description box below. I'm Leslie from Leslie's in the House. Bye guys.